key to not being harmed in a relationship is to give things time and this is where the narcissist will fool you this is where the sinful natured person will fool you they'll come rushing in they'll put the sex straight out there within an hour they'll try and integrate themselves into your life through gifts and arrangements they make pre-arrangements and hope that you will agree with them this all enables them to embed themselves into your life now you'll go along with that you'll integrate into that but your motive is to try and build a long-term lasting healthy relationship that's not what the sinful natured narcissist is trying to do they're just trying to capture and establish a new form of supply that's going to be reliant on them going to be dependent on them they know before the relationship starts that it's going to be limited to a certain amount of time the familiar spirits and demons that work within their life and around their life will be working in conjunction to establish a um, you to be bound trauma bonded to the narcissist the narcissist knows how these principles work they have no intention of building a strong and healthy relationship with you and before you know it after the initial gifts and arrangements that the parade in front of the family and all this other stuff that they do the trouble starts there'll be a trouble start there'll be something happening in the family a family member won't like you or agree with you or be upset with you won't want you in the relationship because you're now the focus of supply from that person you're getting their supply <clears throat> emotional supply and they're missing out they're being taxed they're not getting supply this then works against other family members because now there's a rift in the family because of the new partner which is you you've totally changed the format or program in the family where they're usually emotionally enmeshed and these enmeshments are what they use to psychologically satisfy themselves to some degree or another of course this then in turn produces challenges that are going to require people in the family to mature and if they're not prepared to mature then that's going to possibly cause some breakdowns I've seen this before terrible horrible breakdowns that occur in the minds and the lives of these people as the breakdowns begin so to the demands begin the demands for this person to go we can't have this new person in the group in the tribe because it will or it has shifted all the emotional dimensions of supply emotional supplies being now being taxed 
into the relationship which is or being credited into the relationship which is taxing from the family environment and this is a cycle that you've possibly witnessed happening as a child right through your life and now you're attracting these narcissists and you're starting to wonder how come you keep attracting these dysfunctional people why am I constantly attracting these dysfunctional people why am I now with a chemical dependent person why am I with a person that's irresponsible and deliberately does wrong why am I with somebody that is not satisfactorily applying themselves to this relationship yet they seem to do that at the start why am I wrestling with somebody that never showed this kind of behavior at the start and let me remind you that the nicotine and the drugs and the chemicals and the careless sex and everything which is what you have associated yourself with whether you were deceived or not is all part of the life of this person it's not something that's just happened or something that you're going to be able to fix them from or heal them from by way of the way you love them or try to rescue them you've in, you've integrated yourself into this lifestyle you've allowed this lifestyle to attach onto your lifestyle and now you're trying to harmonize it with yours and it won't happen they'll convenience you to a certain extent but beyond that you will wrestle against behaviors that are way beyond your pay grade to be able to resolve and there won't be resolved this is the problem and where there's no resolve there's trauma and if the, tra if the unresolved continues over a, a duration, it becomes complex po post-traumatic stress disorder. Because you cannot find a way of resolving the issues. And that's complex. You try to complexitize, get rid of these complexities, these behavior habits that are ruining things. You're thinking back to where the relationship started. There was flowers and pre-arrangements and all this other stuff. Now you don't know whether the person's coming or going half the time. And this causes trauma. And this trauma can cause mental, health, and physical issues. As a result of the complex traumatic stress disorder I received from the uh, second woman that I married, the covert narcissist that I married, when she went overt, it was so confusing and so de mentally debilitating that I had a serious accident and the injuries of that accident I'll carry for the rest of my life. This is how dangerous it is. Some people have breakdown strokes, um, all these types of things because their mind goes into such a battlefield to try and work out what's wrong things happen but as you start to awake waken and realize that something's seriously wrong this is really who this person is and you start to see the light and you see the darkness working against you you can begin to detach detach relative to the unresolved and that's how you find your way away from this person and into your freedom <laughs>